Bessie Coleman didn't just fly planes, she did flips on them and jumped out of them as a stunt pilot. Born in the late 1800s, her spirit is still inspiring one little girl today. It looked like goggles with a big, like, brown hat. Noah Lewis keeps her Bessie Coleman gear with all of her favorite dresses. She likes Bessie's outfit best. She had like an army jacket on with some boots. Noah knows everything about Bessie, from what she wore to what her plane looked like. It's so big and it's so pretty. And how time after time, Bessie Coleman followed her dream. She kept on trying. Bessie Coleman wanted to be somebody. She changed the face of aviation in the early 1900s, becoming the first woman of African American and Native American descent to hold a pilot's license. But when Noah tried to research her, she couldn't find much written that she could understand. It was hard for her to completely read the book. Noah's mom, Monica, helped her write letters to the Aviation Museum and the Women's Hall of Fame. They both wrote back. Bessie Coleman is never chosen that much. Women do not get acknowledged. So they sent her handwritten letters and pictures. They encouraged Noah to learn. It's easier for people to understand kids knowing every basketball player, every Avenger, than people understanding kids loving to learn. The Flight Museum flew Noah and her family out to meet Bessie Coleman's great, great niece. They called her up on stage and called her Little Bessie. And for a mom being part of that, that is everything. Now the Women's Hall of Fame is flying Noah's family in to show her all they have on Coleman. And I kept saying, it's just a research paper. And they were like, no, it's not. And it's not just a research paper for Noah anymore either. It's really pretty and I remember about Bessie Coleman. Bessie Coleman died in a plane crash in 1926, but little girls like Noah are helping to keep her spirit alive. At just eight years old, Noah told her mom she already wants to jump out of a plane. They're leaving for the Women's Hall of Fame this weekend.